I'm going to show you how to use a loop to calculate factorial. So first of all, what is factorial? Well, factorial is where you have a number, say five, an exclamation point after it. And what that really equals is, well, five factorial is five times four times three times two times one. Although you don't need to multiply times one, but we'll just keep that in mind. All right, so what do we do in order to calculate that? Well, we need to have a number. We need a prompt for a number. So I'm going to prompt for my factorial number. And I'm going to calculate it and have a total. So I have these two integer values. And I'm going to do this with a for loop. So for number. I do it with a for loop, and I will just calculate it out. But I need to prompt for the number first. Loop and calculate. Okay, right. so I prompt the user first. And so I will do a C out statement. So C out what number factorial do you want me to calculate? And I'll end it. And I'll, all right. And then I read in the number. So I do a CN, CN into my fact number. All right, at this point, I can't do my for loop. So if I'm going to calculate a total, currently the total, you need a number, you need a value, right? So I do four, and I will set my total equal to one. Well, why one? The reason I do one is because if I don't do one, then it will be something like zero, and zero times anything is going to be zero. So, and then while my factorial number is greater than one, I'm going to do a fact minus minus. So I'm going to subtract off of the factorial. So what I'm going to be doing is going through this and just multiplying each number. So my total is currently equal to one. So I can do total times equals. So the total is going to become equal to total times my factorial. What this will do is the first time it comes in this loop, factorial, the fact number, will be equal to 5, if I type in 5. And it's going to take this total becoming equal to 1, and then fact is, well, is still greater than 1, so it's 5. And so it's going to do total times equals fact. So 1 times 5 equals 5. And then it's going to decrement fact down to four and then run the same thing over again. So it kind of loops through and does it multiple times and now we're going to display the output. So I'll do a C out and I will display the total is and I will put my total here and then I will do a end line. All right, so it's time to run the program and see how it runs. So I'm prompted for a number, 5 factorial is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is 120. If we wanted to see an easier number to calculate mentally in our heads, we could do something like 3, which we know is 3 times 2, which is 6, right? So we got the total is 6. And so we can see it's working, and this is how you can calculate factorial using simple loops or a loop.